So what you need to do, you need to open QuickTime Player. So you can just uh, search for QuickTime Player using this Spotlight search. Just search for uh, QuickTime Player here and then just open this QuickTime Player from here. Or you can open QuickTime Player using the Launchpad also. So search for QuickTime Player in the Launchpad and then open QuickTime Player from here. So you can just write uh, QuickTime Player here and then open QuickTime Player from here also. So this QuickTime Player comes pre-installed in your Mac operating system. So once this QuickTime Player is open, you just need to uh, click on the QuickTime Player and then you just need to click on the file option here and then click on new movie recording okay so just click on new movie recording here and once this new movie recording uh, starts you just need to connect your iPhone with your MacBook using the USB lightning cable and then your iPhone is going to ask if you want to provide the access of your iPhone to the MacBook Pro and once you click yes on that and then you can just click on this small arrow here and then you will be able to see that your iPhone option will be available here so you can see my iPhone option is available here so I'm going to just click on uh, this uh, iPhone option which says uh, my name and then iPhone and once I click on this option you will see that my iPhone screen is mirrored on my MacBook or my Mac operating system. So you can see when I uh, just operate my uh, iPhone, it's visible on my MacBook Pro. And now using this option, you can also record your iPhone screen on your MacBook. So when you click on this red button, it's going to start the recording of your iPhone screen. So when I click on uh, this record button here you can see the recording has been started I'm moving something I'm opening the app store here and then once my movie recording is finished I can press on this stop button once again and what it's going to do it's going to record your iPhone screen on your MacBook and then you can save this recording anywhere wherever you want so whenever you click on this uh, cross button it's going to ask you to uh, provide the location where you want to save it and you can just give any name let's say iPhone uh, demo here and then I'm going to just click on save and this movie recording will be saved at that location right and once again whenever you want to start the uh, sharing of your iPhone screen you can just click on new movie recording and then you can see in some time uh, the iPhone screen is visible on my MacBook, right? So that's a simple video of sharing your iPhone screen on your MacBook. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.